Lord be with you. And good evening. I'm JC, and I'm the pastor here at Brownstown Presbyterian Church. Uh, and as you might be able to tell from the video here, uh, all around me are still the signs of Christmas. Uh, and that's because in the church year, this is still Christmas time. You've heard of the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. Well, the 12 days, uh, including Christmas, after Christmas, goes up to January 6th, which we call Epiphany, uh, the day we traditionally remember the wise men coming to Jesus and how what Jesus came to do was to bring light to the entire world, not just to uh, his kinfolk, his, the, the Jewish people, but also to the Gentiles, that is, to everyone uh, on planet Earth. And that's on January 6th. So right here tonight on January 2nd, we are still... Um, in the Christmas season. And so I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We all do here at BPC. Uh, we also want to encourage you uh, as we begin this new year. New Year's uh, is a time where we, um, we look back, we reflect on the past, we contemplate our present, and then we, we look towards the future. What are the things we want to accomplish this year? Uh, what are the things we wish were different in our lives? Um, and so often, uh, there's a place of, of loneliness, uh, of isolation, uh, that we sometimes can't get out of. Uh, and so I'd like to personally extend an invitation to you to come worship with us here at Brownstown Presbyterian Church every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. live and in person, uh, or choose to worship with, the, or if you so choose, uh, you can worship with us online at 10.30 um, every Sunday morning. Whatever it is uh, you choose to do with this new year, whatever resolutions you have, um, I, I pray they are all successful as long as they're healthy and positive <laughs> for you and for others around you. Um, whatever it is, I, I encourage you to find some time for spiritual care, spiritual self-care. Um, and for the Christian, that means reading Scripture. That means praying to God. That means fellowshipping or hanging out with or enjoying the company of fellow Christians, sisters and brothers in Christ, worshiping together, doing mission work together, um, and ultimately just finding our way through this life, the difficult struggle of faith in a world that wants to shove faith aside uh, in favor of other things. Uh, I encourage you to find some space in your life for the spiritual side of who you are, for your soul, to feed your soul. The best way to do that, the best way I know how, is through reading scripture, through prayer, and through service and living a life uh, that is in line with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So tonight, I just wanted to have um, uh, read a couple scriptures and then have a prayer time as we begin this new year and as we look forward with hope, with anticipation, that 2022 will be different than 2021 and 2020. Um, I know each year is different, of course, but better than those past years that we've had so many different struggles and that personally we've each had our own. So I'd like to open, well, I'd like to begin um, this Sunday night uh, prayer time with uh, reading the scripture from the beginning. And I want to read uh, the first chapter, uh, go barely going into um, the second chapter of Genesis. I'll be reading from the English Standard Version, and I just invite you to uh, allow God here to open your heart, open your ears, and hear something perhaps you have not heard before as we listen to what Scripture tells us, how creation began and how everything was made by God and through God. So listen to these words, uh, English Standard Version, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separated the waters uh, that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. 
And God called the expanse heaven, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that, we, that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth sprout vegetation and plants yielding seeds and fruit trees bearing fruit in which, in which is their seed, each according to its kind on earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kind, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be signs and for, let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light to all the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. And so God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let birds multiply upon the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, let the earth be bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds and the, of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of the earth, of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he has made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all of the host of them and on the seventh day, God finished his work that he had done, and he, res he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, God rested from all of his work that he had done in creation. If you continue to read in Genesis, uh, if you begin with Genesis chapter 2, verse 4, you'll read the, a second creation account. That's right, the Bible has two right in a row uh, creation accounts of how God created everything that we see and everything that we know. 
And isn't it interesting? After God made uh, there's seven days of creation, and every day after God did something of creation, God said it was good. It was good. It was good. And then he made humanity. Male and female, he created them. And God said on that day that it was very good. Uh, some of us have a problem, uh, especially when we think of New Year's resolutions, we think of, well, what do I not like about myself and what do I want to <laughs> make better? Um, it's because of the world we live in and because of advertising the way it is, uh, we are all pre-programmed to not like what we look like, to want to have something else that we don't have. Uh, it's just part of our human nature to desire things that we don't have. And, of course, marketers uh, exploit this uh, natural part of humanity. But I want you to hear clearly, loud and clear, right now, the Bible itself tells us that when God made humanity on that sixth day, God said it was very good. You and I, created in the image of God, were, are very good. Now, of course, the Bible will soon go on to, in the second creation story, we'll hear of the famous uh, eating of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And with that, sin entered the world, which we call the fall of humanity, uh, where sin now pervades every part of who we are uh, and has corrupted that original goodness. But originally, you and I, all of creation was created, and God said that it was good. And I think that's a good word for us as we begin uh, this new year. And I also love how Genesis tells it. I mean, it, and it's God speaking. Let there be this and that. Let there be light. Let there be birds. Let there be um, lights in the heavens. And then it says, it was so. And just God speaking it out loud created everything. It's just, um, it's wonderful to think about. And it boggles the mind that God's word creates and that's why I wanted to read to you uh, John chapter 1 from the New Testament. Uh, and I wanted to read the first 18 verses because this is now the Word of God. We already know the Word creates. But now the Word of God becomes flesh. Jesus, the Son of God, God Himself. Very God, very human, 100% human, 100% God. That's a mystery, friends. <laughs> but it happened. Listen to John's gospel of what he says, uh, who Jesus is. Uh, reading John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God, born of God. And listen to this. Listen to this. Verse 14. And the word became flesh. And dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory. Glory as the only son from the father. Full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out. This, is this was he of whom I said. He who comes after me ranks before me. Because he was before me. Verse 16. For from his fullness. We have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at the Father's side. 
He has made him known. Friends, this is the foundation of uh, the Christian faith that God creates through the Word. And then the Word became flesh. God came to us. And that is a wonderful mystery. It's something that we continue to learn and to grow in our appreciation of. And God uses the knowledge that we just heard to change our lives and to change our hearts. So friends, if you do not, if you have not ever believed, then I invite you to believe today. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus Christ as his son. And as the Gospel of John just said, everyone who believes in his name, he gives the right to be called children of God. That's powerful truth. And it gives us hope. Uh, this story, this book has a lot of, um, well, a lot of negativity in here, but there's also a lot of love, of grace. And guess what? In the end, God makes all things right and new. And that is a wonderful promise. And hopefully that will give you some hope uh, as you face 2022 uh, with whatever is going on in your life. So friends, uh, let's open this new year after hearing the word of God uh, read. Let's open with a word of prayer or let's close our time together now with a word of prayer. Uh, and let's just give this year to God. So please uh, join with me in a time of prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that your word creates. You speak and it happens. We don't understand the mysteries of who you are, of how you do what you do, Lord, but we do trust in you and we believe in you. Thank you for sending your Son and our Lord and Savior, Jesus, down to us as a babe in Bethlehem. The creator of all things became part of his creation. Lord, I, I pray that as we face this new year, 2022, none of us know what to expect. We've had a difficult couple of years. I pray, Lord, that the hope that we find in Jesus, the hope that we find in your written word, where you win in the end, you make all things new. I pray, Lord, that you would make that real in our lives and build that hope with each passing day of this new year. Help every, I pray your blessing upon everyone who hear, is hearing the sound of my voice. I ask that you draw them deeper into faith, that they would find a faith community uh, that worships you in grace and in truth. Help us, Lord, to grow in that as well as we seek to love you more every day and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Thank you, Almighty God, for who you are and for what you have done. Bless us in 2022. May this be a year of revival, personally and collectively. We ask this all, Lord Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, thank you for joining us uh, here Sunday night. We pray that you do have a good 2022, and hopefully someday we'll see you Sunday at BPC. Take care, peace, and God bless.